Welcome back to Teardown. Yes, that is a roller coaster going into a volcano. We're going to be doing some more crazy things with roller coasters in this video. Let's get this thing moving. See you later, guys. I'm going to make my way over there so I can see this thing actually go into the roller coaster. I can hear a lot of things breaking at the moment. I don't know what that is. It could be my cheap roller coaster. <laughs> I really got a bargain on that thing. Oh, no. Oh, no. Another part just fell off into the ocean. Okay, here it comes. I guess it doesn't matter because it's going into the volcano anyway. How are these guys going? Uh, they're definitely melting. I can hear lots of things being singed and burning. Is that cries for help? I'm not sure. It's actually melting really well. I wasn't sure how it was going to go because most of it's made of metal. I think it's completely gone. We successfully melted a roller coaster into the volcano. See you later, guys. So I guess this video is going to be a little bit space themed because the first thing we're doing is we're going to try and smash an earth into this giant telecom tower. I'm going to try and just drag this thing up here. I don't know how well this is going to go. This is the biggest earth the game actually has and it's massive. It is really, really big. It's going to slow down the game. Oh, my God. Okay, launching Earth at the tower in three, two, one. Oh, there it goes. Nice. Okay, how was the damage on that one? Oh, man, there's really strong posts there. Okay, what if we were to try Mars? Something a little bit denser. And launch. Did that do anything to those posts? No way. Those posts are so strong. Indestructible objects. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, big ball. This ball is huge. You can't break it. Surely it's going to smash through those posts, right? No, it just bounced off Mars like it was nothing. Okay, maybe the BFG can help me out. Let's try this thing. There it goes. Yeah, it's just chewing right through the middle of that building. So the planets wouldn't do it. <laughs> but the biggest gun in the world would. And it got perfectly stuck. That was so satisfying. I really thought the planets were going to be stronger than that. Able to smash the building down. So let's actually test how heavy these things are. We have the indestructible steel ball right over the businessman. We have Earth over Walter White. <laughs> and then we have Jupiter over Sol Goodman all the way over there. Look at this guy. Wow. Realistic RTX graphics right there. Okay, businessman about to be crushed by the giant metal ball. Are you ready, dude? Let's go. Oh my god. Okay, that thing is very heavy. That guy basically just got crumpled into a briefcase sized. Look at him. <laughs> okay, just move this rubble out of the way. Is it rubble if it's human remains? I don't know. Okay, now we have the earth over here. We have Walter White. I, th I think that's... No, that's Gus Fring. That's who that is. Definitely not Walter White. Okay, about to be crushed by Earth. I thought Earth was a little bit lighter, but let's see what happens. All right, it's coming down. It's coming down. Oh my God. Okay, so it was definitely heavy, but it's very brittle. It's made of like, almost like cookie matter. You know what I mean? It crumpled like a gluten-free cookie. It's just rubble now. Look at that. I can drag it along the ground and we get crumbs all over the place. Can I just leaf blow these away? There we go, yeah, just dispose of them. Oh, they're a little bit bloody. Okay, Sol Goodman about to be crushed by Jupiter. I think we know what's gonna happen, given that Earth just destroyed Gus. Alrighty there, Sol, I'm gonna stand back. This one's gonna be dangerous. Oh my God. That thing is so soft. What is Jupiter even made of? I know, it's a gas giant, but still, is there any kind of core in this thing? No. I mean, it's supposedly a gas, but that looks like it's not gas. Definitely looks like there's some solid matter in that one. You know what I mean? It's like, it definitely, it looks like cake. <laughs> one of those planet cakes. Is there like any part of Sol Goodman in here at all? Or is he just gone? I think he's just gone completely. It feels like it's been years since we've been over on my 100 layers of glass. So I reckon we should try the roller coaster on it. First thing we need to do is see if we can actually get the track going through the glass without breaking the glass. I think we might be able to just spawn it in there, but we'll see what happens. Okay, first thing, let's put some track down to about there. Does that work? Okay, yeah, that's definitely gone through the road. Okay, so let's bring this point up a little bit just to bring the track coming out there like that. That's good. And then we'll bring this one down. Okay, that's all right. Bring this one up a touch. Cool. 
increase the resolution just to make the track a little bit smoother. Okay, that looks great. Alrighty there, dudes. Now we just need to get the track going right through this thing without breaking the glass. Is that doable? Okay, so let's go track to about there. Is that... Hey, look at that! It spawned it inside the glass all the way through. That is so cool. Let's just increase the position a little bit just to make it look nicer. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, height of that could go up a touch. Okay, I think that's perfect. Let's load up this carriage with some people and see if we can get this thing going through 100 layers of glass. That'd be some kind of record. That looks so good. I reckon we just get my buddy Finpai here. Let's just get him in there. Make sure the rail thing's not going through his head. The harness or whatever it is. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go, Finn. Can he make it through 100 layers of glass? All right, he's, he's already got a cough. He's pretending it's like a sick day. Okay, so he is definitely in pieces by now. Um, let's just slow it down so we can have a look. Yeah, that glass has shredded him something fierce. Okay, how's he actually- Oh my god! He's made it the entire way through! Not in one piece, though. Okay, how's he look? Uh, he's missing his head. Oh, that's about it. It's just his head that he lost. Yeah, way to go, champ. You're almost lift. So, of course, we have to try 100 layers of poop, but it's actually more like 10. <laughs> it's 100 meters of poop. That's what it is. And we've got the magical golden poop right down the end here, which we have to try and make it to. I don't know if we're going to be able to. Let's just hold control. Click that there. Beautiful. What a nice looking track. It's going right through his mouth. So tasty. Okay, let's just bump that up to 100, make it a smoother track. Alrighty there, dudes, jump back here. Let's just get a regular dude this time. There we go. You stand there, buddy. Just a regular old guy. I'm gonna call him C-Top. There we go. Alrighty there, bud. Let's do this. Let's go. We gotta follow him. He's making his way through the poops. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's the stuff. It's pushing through. Come on. Oh, my God, it's stuck. It's so stuck. Come on, keep pushing. Keep pushing. You can get through it. Just pretend it's chocolate. Start chewing or something. I don't know. Let's get some thrusters. These are magical thrusters. These ones are really good. And just going to chuck them on the back there and go. They're not doing anything. The thrusters are stuck. The poop is too thick. Ah, oh, it's not doing it. Oh my god. That's so disappointing. Okay, that's fine. I'm just going to drag him through there. No, nope, I guess we're not. <laughs> Where do you even go? Let me clear this rubble out of the way. Is it really rubble? Is it really? That's so gross. Oh, we didn't even get to bust the golden poop. Man, it's just not the same. So I want to see if it's possible if we can get a roller coaster in space. You know what I mean? I want to know what the roller coaster does in zero G all the way up in space. So let's do it. Let's see how high we can get this thing. Okay, start moving this thing upwards into the sky. So I guess the question is, how high can we actually get this thing? Can it go all the way up? Because if we can get it to go up far enough, it will actually turn into space. I do have the space mod installed, so we should be able to get right up there. All right, move this up. Make that really high. Okay, then this one's got to go up there as well. All the way up, really high. Okay, I reckon that's up high enough. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, I feel like it is. You can see the stars start to come out if I start to go too high. I'm just going to go right there, and I'm going to send this up even higher. Okay, going to increase the precision all the way up so it's a nice and smooth track. Oh, no, what's happened to the beginning here? It's all twisted up. There we go. Just had to twist it back again. All right, we're good. So I've got the thruster mod here exactly for this reason. I think we're going to have to punch up the strength. For the... I'm going to have to punch up the strength. I'm going to put them at the bottom near the wheels just for stability. And right at the front. That way we're kind of dragging up the other carriages. All righty. I'm actually just going to stand on this one. So I'm just going to jump on it like this. And I'm just going to ride it all the way up. Okay, I need to switch over to my thrusters. Okay, yep, I'm just gonna stand on this seat. When is it gonna stop? Surely it's gonna stop somewhere. And then we have to enable the thrusters. Oh my god. Okay, okay, we're starting to run out of puff. Let's go. Let's go, thrusters. Are they actually firing? I think they are. Hey, we're actually getting pretty high up. This is cool. The thrusters are working. Oh, we're slowing right down. Oh, if, if I stop the thrusters, we stop completely. Oh, come on. These thrusters aren't strong enough. Okay, I've doubled the thrusters, and now we're actually getting somewhere. This is good. Yeah, 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 and we're moving at a pretty good pace. 
I don't think the track gets much steeper than this. How are we going there? Can we see over the edge without falling off? The station has actually disappeared. I can't really see the station much anymore. It's lost in the fog in all these clouds up here. Oh, oh, 13 thrusters. That's the magic number. That's almost too many. It's going quite fast. We don't want to break things. This thing is known to break if you start going too fast. I'm actually getting worried we're going to run out of track. Oh no. No, 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 no. It's going dark. Oh, we're getting into space. Can't see the planet yet. I'm hoping we get high enough and the planet becomes visible. But I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Oh, oh, I got thrown from it. Oh, I'm in zero G. Okay, I'm back on it. I can sort of see what's going on. It's gotten very shaky. Oh my God, it's so shaky. Okay, we've left Earth. We can't see Earth anymore. <laughs> oh my God, how much track is there? Are we going to the sun? This is incredible. No, 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 this is it. This is the end of the track. Oh my God, what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? Oh, oh, it's gone. It's just gone. Oh my God. And there it is, guys. Just a beautiful train carriage. Just floating around in space. We made it. <laughs> no, I'm so proud of us. The first roller coaster carriage to make it into the cosmos. It's a beautiful thing. Who knows where it will end up. All right, guys, if there's any crazy stuff you want to see me try with roller coasters, let me know in the comments and I'll catch you guys next time.